Rebecca Laws shared a critical response when her affair claims were questioned in the wake of the Beckham docuseries. The Dutch glamour model became known in 2004 after she claimed to have had an affair with the Beckham. The allegations came to light again in the former footballer's docuseries, with Rebecca being overwhelmed with cruel messages from online trolls. Several commentators questioned if she had been lying about the affair, with one person writing, No way have I ever seen and admittance that the story was true. Replying to the remark, another commentator reasoned, if it wasn't true, then they would have sued for defamation, prompting Rebecca to like the remark and respond with a prayer hands emoji. Ex-reality personality Rebecca has been the target of some harsh criticism on social media, prompting her followers to send her some kind words. One person wrote in her Instagram comments, hope you are okay in light of everything, sweetheart and sincerely hope everyone is kind to you these days. With Rebecca responding with a simple love heart emoji. The following day, the former PA revealed she had been teaching yoga in her native Sweden as she shared a snap from her relaxing retreat. She captioned the image from a private class I taught this weekend. Sharon at Halahon. Thank you. Rebecca posted a snap taken by her friend at the class who had shared and yoga between the pics with wonderful at Rebecca Law's official. It comes after Rebecca broke her sirens after David and Victoria Beckham spoke about the footballer's alleged affair with his former PA. She posted publicly for the first time since the series, sharing a video of the snow outside and she wrote, Hello winter, Ali as usual. Kendall Gina showcased her sense of style alongside boyfriend Bad Bunny as they stopped by the Ruiz Miguel concert at Madison Square Garden in New York City on Sunday. A TV personality who was spotted filming a commercial earlier in the day throughout the Big Apple made a fashionable arrival to the venue alongside the Petelican rapper head of the festivities. The 818 Tequila founder dressed to impress wearing a pair of cheap black trousers which were secured with with a thin belt that wrapped around her slim waist. Asked married at first sight UK groom Brad Scary and his wife Shona Manderson have split and he has already started a new romance with a bridal model. Brad's marriage to Shona ended shortly after the TV personality was ejected from the E4 series by producers for demonstrating controlling and coercive behavior. Brad didn't waste a second back on the dating scene and is now in a relationship with Holly Badwin, who he was seen passionately kissing at the VIP Square First launch at Alton Towers on Friday night. Bosses made a decision to end Brad's time on the series after concern grew among the experts, including Mel Squealing, Mel, Mel Schilling, that his attitude towards wife Shona was toxic and uncomfortable, and he didn't treat her as his equal. The groom was seen snogging new girlfriend Holly, who on Sunday night, from love for the father of one by sharing a photo of them together on her Instagram alongside a padlock emoji. Anita Rani made her first public appearance since announcing her split from her husband of 14 years as she attended the Pride of Britain Awards on Sunday night. The television presenter looked happier than ever as she filmed from ear to ear while linking arms with strictly calm dancing professional Johannes Radebe. The broadcaster and her husband of 14 years, tech company owner partner Hupi Rehal, are said to have split last month after their busy schedule kept them apart. Anita and Hoopy first met at a rave in East London and married in a traditional ceremony back in 2009. A source told the Daily Mirror at the time, it's really sad but they have decided to separate. Their hectic schedules over the past couple of years have sadly meant they have drifted apart over time. They remain on very good terms and wish nothing but the best for one another. In a recent interview, Anita told how she is 
stopped people pleasing after being put in a box for much of her life. Speaking to Yahoo News, Anita, born in Blackford to Indian parents, told of the pressure she felt to settle down after it was instilled that marriage and children equals success, remarking that the notion is drip fed to you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon to receive notifications. Peace.